your host, Eric Asalda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday, 9 a.m. This is a whole hour of Santa Barbara Teen Athletes. Woo-hoo! And all those people and businesses that support those athletes. And I love May. You know why? Why? Because it's Mommy's Day day in May. But what we're Mommy's do Day is, month? Uh, yeah, something like that's that? That's what we're going to do. You got it. Put your hands together, Dick. We are going to make a Mommy's Day month. All right. Because if you're a mama, you deserve a whole month. So. Well, that's I've been referred to that, but in a very pejorative way. Uh, but yeah. So I guess I don't qualify. <laughs> so what, what we're going to do... Rude and obnoxious. I have just reached out just to a couple of our business partners, and uh-huh. everybody has bought into the concept. So Love it. Do you want to start off with the Kisabella Bella basket? Do you want to do nothing but cake? What do you want to do? Nothing but cake first. Nothing but cake first. Beverly, we love you. What we're going to do is... As soon as you hear, we're going to have a key word, okay? The key word is going to be cake. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. That's so Not rocket science. So Okay, so you, I'm going to have a picture of the nothing but cake. I'll put it on the Facebook, okay? So Mm -hmm. right now, go to Teen, T-E-E-N, Sports Radio. Go on our Facebook page and then like the butt cake, okay? Like that cake, baby. And then I'm going to put everybody who liked it. And the, the salt of the earth woman right here. Dominique will pick the winner. All right. Yeah. All right. And we're going to do that every single week. Every single week we're going to give something away. Is that a good idea? Yeah, she'll be blindfolded yes. standing at the edge That's of, uh, we're gonna of the, just of do the it. cliffs yeah. with I'm a big hat. I'm to give stuff away. <laughs> I like that. Huh? Yeah, excellent. Everything and going good? So good. Yeah, I know. You didn't even, you still have your oh, saved. I, I gave you have you I'm waiting for a special occasion. Yeah, really? Which is coming up. Oh. And it is isn't it? Mother's Day. What is it? Uh in June. Yes. It's my day. Oh. Ooh, birthday. birthday. Yes. yes. Yes, I remembered that. So I'm going it's, to it helps uh, when you text me the day before. I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> that's so, when I'll use it. Yeah, that's and I'll awesome. And I'll put, you know, eight or nine candles yeah. or 30 you know, or 40. The one or... I like a lot, and I shouldn't be, I'm supposed to be going to Bermuda, maybe. I'll probably be really? shipping myself in cargo if I keep eating. <laughs> um, no, but I, I like the uh, red velvet chocolate chip. Oh, that is unbelievable. Oh, oh. it just, yum. Have you, you ever know, had one yet? The oh, little my God, cupcakes. so delicious. I was yeah. actually, this is, this you were here. I was here. I had you a piece. Here. It was yeah, delicious. Yeah, that was really good. Those All cupcakes, I tell you. You have one of those, mm-hmm. and uh, for me, I can die a happy uh, man. Yeah, she. I, I, I'm not kidding. She's oh. so generous. Yeah, we had a um, event over at Kisi Bella at the end of uh, April. She donated all the cupcakes, yeah. oh, all right. of them. It's amazing. These Ooh. women were supposed to be getting the facials, the mini. Everybody was at the cake bar. I mean, that was it. <laughs> she, I said, you know, she's on Cali Real. Okay, just you know, everybody dispense, disperse. What's the word? Disperse. Yes. Yep. yep. Yeah. To Cali Real. To get yeah. exactly so good. So so put your hands. Thank All you. Right. Nothing but Kate. We love Beverly. All and right. you'll be hearing her commercials here shortly. Yeah, I know. She's awesome. Yeah. It was really good. And then we, we got the sourdough bread Oh, my lady. God. That she is awesome. so much yeah. fun to play with. She brought us some yeah. bread. We're going to pass it around today. Yeah. I, yeah. Everyone's just giving us some. We're loved. It's unbelievable. Love and gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> That's my whole mantra and for we 2016. And we are very grateful. Yeah, we are. For all that love and gratitude. It's, it's wonderful. It really it's is. It's nice when you come in here and I look in this bag. I'm like, wow, I'm famished, right? Yeah. It was so, I mean, then. And Lunch. You did such a great job on the commercial. Thank you. That was fun. That was awesome. We we, we, we actually searched for that, all different kinds that. of Russian music, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and I kept coming up with the Red Army <laughs> st- marching stuff. And oh, thank you. And she said, no, no, I don't think so. I said, no, I, we're just looking. We're, I was looking for the Russian Russian dancing music, uh, yeah. and it worked out really well. No, she was, it was awesome. It yeah. was a really great commercial. Yeah. So all these commercials, by the way, folks, are donated. And it's just to people that just give back into the community. And mm. then we also have all the commercials that you've done. And she has a new nickname. Uh, what is it? One Take Bread Lady. Ooh. Oh. She did that in one take. That I was kid you awesome. not. Wow. That was wow. so cool. Good job. Because she had nice. She did yeah. what she's supposed to do. Yeah, she Fantastic. Did. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So we got a bunch of kids in the house. We have San Marcos cheerleaders. <laughs> and we've got... Two boys representing from Bishop Diego High School basketball right. players. Yeah. China. Ooh. Woo! 
That's awesome. We'll get to them. But first, before we go to break, we've got Andy Gill in the yeah, house. Yeah, how are hey, you? Andy, you always step up and tell us today's date, May, boom. I know you. we don't want to hear any Mother's Day stories because you've got the best mom, May, I'm May's sure. an incredible month. Like and, uh, Dr. D and, 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 and Mother's Day, I'm also I'm also celebrating a birthday in May. No. Yeah. Another my, nut and bud cake. Can't give away my age. I got some students in the building. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, so if you are in May, if you're a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, or a senior, so talk to me. What, what, what are we going to be doing? Hey, so we're at, we're at a great point in the year where my seniors, let's start with the seniors because you've now been accepted. Mm. It's a good day. Now it's really coming down to decision time. Mm. Um, so you have a couple days to decide, and then obviously the rest we take care of, sending your transcripts, making sure everything's all set. Um, locally, I mean, we have the best community college in the nation right in our backyard. So obviously what I tell every student is weird things happen with financial aid. Register as if you're going to Santa Barbara City College because – it would never ever affect your admission anywhere else. And if worst case scenario, you got to come back. Your registration set. You got a good day. You can still good get plan. The, still get the classes you need. Um, my eleventh graders right now, um, we're finding out what your what your quarter grades are. So um, unfortunately, I might be sending out some summer school letters. No. <laughs> um, but hopefully not. Other than that, my eleventh graders keep doing well. Keep prepping for those SATs, ACTs. They're next month, so make sure you're all set. Um, tenth graders, like I said, same same thing. Keep racking up those community service hours. Nothing too much. I mean, pick up a. Go to Amazon.com, pick up a SAT practice book. They're about 22 bucks for like 4,000 pages. When you're sitting in the car, practice. Look at the questions, making yourself relatable um, to what they're trying to ask you, and then you'll be that much better off. And then my freshman, first year down, you guys are feeling pretty good. Um, <laughs> confidence is there, and, and now I just got to make sure we, we maintain that for another four years, and, and we'll be golden. Question. Mm -hmm. So for... Um, Seniors, even though you got your 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 set, you're gonna go to your school. Everything's happened. You got your financial aid. Can't be dropping classes. Oh, not at all. Not do at not all. Do not do that. Any, you, the only the only way that we can drop a class is if you, the admissions officer from that school emails us or calls us directly and says it's okay. Because I have seen it happen, and it's a shame, but. They can still rescind your application. Exactly. So no D's or F's either. I'm putting this out there to the moms because yeah. you know I have an old two boys. Yeah, and my oldest tried to pull that stunt with me. Hey, well, this, okay? is, this is unrelated. This is unrelated right. academics. But right. Erica, have you ever thought about like I would totally go, but like a stand up stand up night at Soho? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would totally go. Uh, <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, that's, that was another life yeah. <laughs> down in you know, LA. I, I could have sworn Been there. that as a oh, yeah. senior, oh, it's we got I would try to figure out how to extend spring break yeah. oh, into May. Yeah. 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 Funny. Senior, I, have, I got in. one more other question. Absolutely. I mean, I'm just filled with questions today. Uh, the, the, when you're taking your SATs, it used to be that you could take it again and hope to get a better, like if you're my youngest son, because I have two boys, mm -hmm. and he decided to take the SAT and he had the flu. So he ended up having to take it again. Gotcha. Okay, and then you got to do your best score. Yeah. But now... No, it's awesome. Scores and okay. in colleges, they're great about super scoring and everything. So say you say you took the SAT in May and then you took it again in December. Right. If you did really good in English in May right. and you did really good in math in December, right. they're going to combine those now. to make you look as good as possible. So wow. that is that a new thing, right? Uh, it, it's relatively new, not too new, about uh. a few years old new, but um, they're trying to make you look as good as possible. Okay. Also, when we took the SAT, myself included, mm -hmm. if you got a question wrong, you were penalized. Mm -hmm. Now you can guess freely, and and it, it's it's to your, it's to your benefit to right. so try and, and do as best as you finish the club yeah. to finish it. To so do when, it. yeah, when yeah. we took it, if you right. left it blank, it was nothing. Right. If you got it right, it was a plus. If right. you got it wrong, it was a negative. Right. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> so this is gambling right here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, oh, thank you so yeah. much, Andy Gill. Yeah. All right, we have one more co-host. I always leave it with a minute, and you know, so why should I change? So. You got to say something. You got to say something. It's on the cuff. What do you want to say? <laughs> just in the good morning, oh, good morning. Erica. You know what I want you to talk about real quick? We just talked about the other, yeah. Because you're a master gardening class. Yeah. And then you were telling us with um, a lot of people are putting those artificial lawns in. Because yes. I know I did it. And then she starts this ma ma master gardening class. And she's like, Erica, did you know we have so many, what's the word, indigenous okay. pl there plants? There are so many native, native. Grasses, grasses that we can plant in our yards right. instead of right. the artificial Turf. 
Instead of artificial turf right. or instead of the current grass that you have, which is usually something like a marathon or Cuban rescue that takes up a lot of water. Right. Um, there are actually natural gas, uh, grasses that take up less water. And My natural gas doesn't take any water, <laughs> <laughs> actually. <Natural> grasses. <laughs> grasses. So, but the cool thing is Santa Barbara Botanical Gardens has a kind of like little house and the lawn and everything's all done. So you can go there and see what it would look like nice. to Sweet. use so some native grasses. So it uses like 75% less water, right? 75% less water. That's amazing. You don't have and to it mow beautiful. it and if it you don't beautiful. want to. It looks beautiful. There are so many native plants that we can be using in our landscapes that huh. use way less water and they're gorgeous. I, nice. bought, I must have bought the wrong artificial turf because I have artificial weeds now. I don't <laughs> <have any. laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So yes, nature yeah. is, uh, yeah, very bizarre. Prolific. Some of the stuff that you, you've picked up and you've been planting, I mean, it's nice You're making teas out of it. I mean, yes. so talk about that. So I'm, I'm very interested in edible landscapes. I figure if I'm going to give it a cup of water, I might as well be able to eat it. Although we do need plants for oxygen, and there's lots of, lots of beautiful reasons for, for growing what we grow. But an edible landscape just means that you're conscious of the plant variety that you put in, you've checked with the nursery, that you can... Um, can eat it. So I make a lot of teas, um, I have a lot of herbs, and I use a lot of plants in salads. There are a lot of different native lettuces uh, and various uh, herbs that you can she put in salad. She bought some over the other night, and I'm like, oh my God, where did you get this? She's like, from the yard. I'm like, no. They were I mean, volunteers. So, yeah, they were so, it wasn't like anything that the store, even at the farm. Well, because this is literally yard to bowl. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, up on so, the hill, it was so uh, good. Live, there's what's called miner's lettuce. Yes. Uh, and it grows everywhere. Wow. Uh, we won't gather it necessarily along Stagecoach Road because obviously the exhaust, you know, the fumes and everything. Yeah, right. but down the road where we actually live, where there is no uh, traffic, we've right. got it growing all over the place. And it's really, really wow. good. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. You actually have some miners' lettuce growing in your backyard. Ah, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Okay. We'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a quick little break. we got a lot of athletes in the house. We'll take a short break. This is Eric Asalda. Don't go away. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every, every single Tuesday, 9 a.m. Dominique, where else can you find us? We are on Facebook. That's a really fun place to follow us. Instagram, YouTube, and my favorite also, Teen Sports Radio. Com. Don't forget Twitter. Ah, yes. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter. And don't forget to hit like on that nothing bunt cake on our Facebook page because the winner is going to be announced every single week. We're going to be giving away everything every week. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Every single Tuesday? Every single Tuesday. <laughs> Just keep doing it. Just We're on four times a week now, so I can't even keep track. Hey, put your hands together for Davey Lynn. And John John from Bishop Diego High School. Gentlemen, how are you? Davey, right. you're a regular now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Davey's already been in the house. Now he's bringing a friend. I like that. Do you want to be a co-host? <laughs> <laughs> I love that because we have first Chinese co-host. Now I know. you got like a billion people over there, right? Oh, yeah. I think we'll be really big. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be really big. Pakistan is kind of wandering its way. I don't know what the whole this room is really going to be packed. I mean, this is people. huge. Everybody's invited. You yes, know that. Absolutely. We're just around the clock. Come we don't on even down. Care. All right. So, Davey, basketball, that's what you're doing. You're not doing that now, but that's what you were doing, right? Yeah. Fun? Yes, really fun. So, I got a question for you. So, did you play basketball in China? Uh, no. No, not no, at all. Not too much. Okay. So, is the game like, would you say, like rougher? Or we have, a, we are very blessed to have a basketball coach in the house and he's going to break it down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and I want to know the strategy, whatever like that. Because there's some, um, countries that you can't hang on the rim so when you were a little kid could you hang on the rim you know in the deal or you get in big trouble i'm just asking uh well, what makes the rim uh, hang uh, on the rim the hoop. The hoop. oh okay yeah uh we usually do like hang on the hoop you uh, can't hang on the hoop uh, in China. i can't i can't hang on you the can't hoop. but like if i helped you up no yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants to keep his feet on the ground. I know, exactly. No, that's awesome. All right. I, Andy Gill, I know you want to ask absolutely, questions. Absolutely. Uh, so, I know, I know. It's been a big year for sports. I mean, the Warriors won the, the Warriors got the record. 
Yeah. Yes. Okay, we got the t-shirt going over here. <laughs> um, Kobe Bryant scored 60 in his last game. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty weird. impressive. Yeah. He didn't yeah. want to pass. Oh, just, he, <laughs> uh, he hasn't passed for 20 years. <laughs> so, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He yeah, should, so he nothing, should. nothing new there. I wish he scored 100. That's all good. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> tell me a little about your love for the game and, and who's your favorite player? Uh, actually, I don't know too much player, but I really like Kobe. Like Absolutely. Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, my uh, cl- friends, he, my best friend, he really like uh, Kobe Bryant, and uh, he told me about many things about him. Like, he's really st- strong when he's played basketball. You yeah. know. In I the think game. I think the strongest thing about Kobe is his brain. <laughs> yeah. Man, that guy is that guy is relentless when it comes to practicing. Um, that's something to take away. But uh, I mean, are are you a shooter? Do you like to dribble? What's your favorite thing to do on the basketball court uh i like shoot yeah <laughs> yeah yeah me and you just like kobe <laughs> jack him <Yeah>. up <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah and then you josh i like steph curry okay I, and did you guys play for bishop this year yes nice. i played for bishop um did you guys I, play for jeff Kowal? yeah i played yeah. Jeff, i played for jeff <laughs> yeah. okay. for a season okay cool who, who are the other coaches over at bishop we have three Teams, a JV team and a varsity team and a first off team. Awesome. Which one were you guys on? I'm on JV and Davey's on first off. Oh, yeah. sweet. That's awesome, man. It's always a good level to start with. That's awesome. Yeah. Who, are, who is your who is your coach? My coach is um, Saxeter. He's named Coach okay. Saxeter. Cool. And then He's yours? my religion teacher. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Awesome. That's that the, helps. That's the best thing about small schools like that. You get to... You, you, you get to say that amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So what, uh, where, where's your hometown? My hometown is in... South West part of China. Okay. Which is very close to Vietnam. Very close to Vietnam. Okay. Um, what Davey. about you, what about you, Davy? Oh, I'm from Shanghai. Uh, oh. Yes, in the east of China. That's awesome. And are you guys here for all of high school or just for a year? How long are you guys here for? For all years. Yeah, probably for the rest. Oh, of so high all of high school. Sweet. You guys are gonna get a high school yeah. diploma. Yeah. That's awesome. pretty sweet. What yeah. are your other than basketball? What are other sports that you want to play? I think I like to play football. Yeah, yeah, you guys got a really good football team over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, Bishop has the greatest football program in all the county, I guess. Have you have you ever played before? No. Yeah, I, funny, funny story. Me neither. And I went to high school, ninth grade. I tried it for the first time. Didn't know how to put the pads on, but <laughs> hey, as soon as they were on, they couldn't catch me. <laughs> yeah, but I, I heard it was painful. Well, I, that's more of the reason why I was like, I, I can't get hit. <laughs> I don't want to get hit, so <laughs> I just got to keep running. <laughs> that's a good yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was. It, I think you'll really enjoy it. That'll be fun. What about yeah. you, Davy? Uh, I want to play tennis. Nice. That's yeah. tennis. It's tennis season right now, is it not? Uh, we don't have tennis season oh, this year. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Take take Josh out there to the Santa Barbara <laughs> City College course and get some sun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's awesome. That's exciting. Other um, than sports, what are your academics like? What classes do you like? My class, I think uh, my favorite class is the multimedia. At nice. Bishop, because they have they have a really g- good program there. What do you guys do in that class? Uh, that class just you know basically f- study for um, intro to multimedia, cool. all the computer and apps. Nice. Yeah, like we get you know to Photoshop and Flash, Flash, Adobe Flash. And Absolutely, ex- yeah, yeah. Excel yeah, and stuff. yeah, it's really helpful. You know, coming over here as freshmen and then knowing that you have a four-year commitment. I mean, what was like the most? Because Davey's been over here before, and it was he was so cute because it was like you know that people don't wear shoes. Yeah. You know, um, what what would be your like wow, like such a different cultural Shock. difference shocker, like a whoa. I think uh, the one thing that I was really surprised about is the break, the life schedule because you guys were just so quick and no rest <laughs> each day. <laughs> like normally in China, we have a, a lunch break, not a break, you know, it's actually a rest. Oh, we we, nice. we go home Siesta. and sleep. <laughs> but in, well, since I, ever since I come to America, I never got to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, we're hosting a, a, an exchange team from Italy, and I was actually talking to her about that, how culturally we've, we've sort of bought into the industrial, I'm in a factory kind of mode in America, and we really need to break that and go back to what really works for human beings, which is, 
is take a break at lunch. No. You know, I maybe even start the day a little bit later. I think kids academically do better when classes oh, start at 9 or 10. Absolutely. Well, you get half an hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> refuel, re-energize. Yeah. What about the food? Food? Yeah, do you yeah, it like was a lot of, it was a lot of different. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a, I have a, I have a couple really close Asian friends, Chinese friends uh, specifically from I went to Berkeley. Um so nice. I have some friends that um man, I got some real good food, some real authentic cuisine and then <laughs> It's really funny. They like really love Panda Express. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I Panda? like I like the good stuff. Um, but no, nah, it's awesome. It's, it's it's welcome, and I'm happy to have you guys here. And it seems like you're gonna be here for a long time. So yeah. Um, are yeah. you guys thinking college in, in the United States or? Yeah, definitely yeah. college. Cool. Yeah. So Davy, cool. when you went out for the first time to like Chinese food, did you like laugh? I mean, did we like kill it, or were, is it close, or what? Uh, it depends on restaurant, but it's uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a restaurant in downtown that's really close to Chinese uh, to my country. Which oh, it is. Which yeah. one's oh, yeah. the best one in town? I'm curious. I want to. I said I want to go. Madam, what's the name? The one State Street. Uh, yeah, Madam Wu. She China again? Pavilion. Yeah. Oh, China, China Pavilion. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. What's the one? Yeah. I don't know. All right. All right. So enough about food. I'm starving right now. <laughs> All right. We've got a lot more. Don't go away. This is Erica Salda, the Queen of Tea. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Tea. Please tune in every single Tuesday. Yeah, you know, I just I love this. You know, I'm watching the ladies in the house from San Marcos High School. We got the cheerleaders in the house. I'm so excited. We're gonna let Andy Gill represent. But what I loved about it, it here's you know got some gentlemen in here, Joss and Davy from China. Man, as soon as I knew the ladies would come off, they want to stand up. They're moving the mics over there. I like the manners. That's all I'm saying. I like the Chinese manners. That's all I got to say. We've had boys in here like, uh, uh, you know, like yeah. it was inconvenience to get up. <laughs> I almost knocked him off the yeah. chair. That's right. Oh, my God. Read my eyes. <laughs> Andy, who'd you bring? We got Julia Tosca. That's Woo! it. Yeah. That's Julia. Yeah. Yeah. Arandi, Arandi da Silva. Yeah, Arandi. And Yesenia Carmona, San Marcos yeah, High School. Yeah. 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 Come on up, ladies. Come up to the mic. Come to the mic. How are you guys today? We're good. Yeah. Good. How are I'm you? Good. Sweet. So we got a lot of questions for you, but is there any way you guys could start us off with a cheer or oh. a chant? Wow. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, one second. One second. Oh, gotta, oh, get oh I got to get in here, Hold too. On. Oh, we got everyone's got to get in here. We like cheers and chants. Okay. All right. so, no pressure because you know <laughs> I still gotta say okay. Santa um, Barbara High School like you know no, <laughs> pounced me for a bunt cake so I'm not saying <laughs> you're not gonna get one I'm not gonna say you're gonna get one but you know it really does <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm the queen I'm okay first. well um, I don't know what I'm saying alright okay. this All is right. Called We Got Spirit, and this is when we do a lot of basketball games, and nice. we just started doing at football games. This, this is year. perfect because we have two basketball players. Yeah, in the yeah. 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 You guys. Well, here's the facial expressions. Okay, <laughs> this is what's gonna matter if you get that bucket. Okay, okay here we go. Ready? What are you yeah. saying? Okay, ready? Yes. Let's go. We got spirit. Yeah, yeah, we got spirit. Yeah, yeah, we got spirit. Yeah, yeah, we got a what? A what? A what? A what? A what? 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 We got spirit. Oh! Yeah, yeah, we got spirit. We got spirit. Yeah, yeah, we got spirit. You got spirit. Yeah, yeah, we got what? A what? Yeah. A what? A what? A what? A what? 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 We got spirit. Oh, you got bug cake, ladies. That's what you got. You got bug cake. Woo! Thank you. Go Royals. That was awesome. I gotta oh. give you that bun cake. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I will. You pass um, it. I, will. I, I didn't pass bring it on. one with me. <laughs> so listen, I will give him a bun cake. How am I gonna get you that bun? Oh, yeah, it's at Marcus. Yeah. Right yeah. down the street. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right down the street. No, what I'm gonna do, I'll have you come and get it. You know where I live? I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I live like right in two minutes. I mean, you know where Puente is? You know where San Marcos yeah. is? Puente? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you On the so ocean close side. Her school. Okay. By More Mesa? So, kind yes, of? before that. Third Street. Right, and I'm right there. You can't. So <laughs> we'll rep- all cruise. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah we'll all come. I'll give you my phone over. number, and I'm because I have to do this. I'm so weird about like paying back. You know? <laughs> Not like I technically owe anybody anything, you know? <laughs> but I just when I say something, you know, I can't be a hater on the Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> <laughs> <a liar>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's me. Do we have any captains <laughs> in the building? Um, Yesenia and yeah. I are captains, and awesome. our the other captain is Shayna Kiefer. 
Okay, She's cool. a senior, but she couldn't be here. All right, so I know cheerleaders are crazy athletes. You guys, thank are, you, you guys, thank you, thank you for recognizing <laughs> it. No, you guys are definitely athletes. Um, it's very difficult. Please tell me about the last couple of months. Like, where have you guys been competing? How have you guys done? What's going on with the cheerleaders right now? Well, we've had this is our first year competing actually, and it's been very fun and stressful at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah, we just got this new team. It was like thirty girls, right? Mm -hmm. 30. thirty girls. We started with thirty. Yeah, we yeah, ended like two. Yeah, along the way. but we got like around thirty girls, um, all ages. So we have some. We have like six freshmen, a um, bunch of JV sophomore girls, and then there's like juniors and seniors. So it's a mix. And basically, we've been doing really good for our first year competing. We got in first place, a couple competitions. Um, we were st like state champs of our division. Sweet, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I we, saw those shirts around campus. Yeah, yeah. all the jackets. <laughs> so proud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we made to nationals, which is awesome. Nice. Um, thank you. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty great. And I don't know. We just have. A had a great year for starting us off and we're all juniors so we have another year of That's hopefully awesome. getting farther my eldest son is a graduate of San Marcos and he started out in football and then switched to cheerleading oh, no do way. you girls have any boys on your team no, we've been trying to encourage them to join our team. <laughs> yeah, we've had a few, but, had but it doesn't really work out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. But we know. want guys on we our want team. Guys, so sure. you're going to have to check out the football team and find out someone who, well, what happened to him? He, he got a little injured and then he realized, wait a second, I might have more fun doing cheerleading. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was just a, as rigorous. I mean, yeah. he was yeah. throwing yeah, it's, you yeah, know, up in the difficult. air and doing yeah. <laughs> the kid, He's a big boy, too. He's like, what, six, four? Four? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he was like a lineman. And like when he said, I mean, I thought for the first three months after, you know, I met you, like you were just joking with me. <laughs> then, and then I, I see, he goes, no, he goes, it was the best time of my, I mean, I would imagine somebody 6'4", and he probably was almost 300 pounds then. Right, he's, big. he's, he's, big he's just a gigantic. You know, he's like a center. So explain the positions to me because I, I know what a flyer is, a and that oh, that's yeah. so I'm that's a flyer. wow. So that blows my mind because you know Bishop. I mean, they're you know they're more of a younger kind of um, cheer yeah, squad. Because yeah, yeah. when I've seen you guys do it, I'm like Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I mean, I'm really <laughs> praying for you. No, it's not like no, you're no, two no, feet I, off yeah, the thing. We the bring the ambulance, you know, when Bishop does something, everybody prays. Everybody <laughs> holding the rosary but, but when I see you know like when even when I watch the cheer competitions I mean it's dangerous yeah, yeah. It's, I mean it's, yeah ex explain yeah. it um well I started out as a flyer my freshman year um you didn't think I you won. honestly didn't think I wanted to be a base because I was terrified to go in the air um but they were like no you're too small so you're gonna fly you're just gonna do it <laughs> a base is the person that holds the flyer yeah, the okay. base, yeah. so yes yeah, Sonia's a base they're the two girls that hold the two the two feet of the flyer and then Julia is a back spot so she stands yeah. in the back and basically controls most of it I like push up um, sorry <laughs> I, I like put, I hold the ankles of like a Rondi she's Actually, she's our flyer most of the time, yeah. so we're actually all in a group with Shayna. <laughs> nice. And so um, I hold her ankles and basically push her up there. And Yesenia, she's main base, so there's main base and secondary base. Both are very important parts, but yeah. main base for libs, which is the one-legged stunts, um, she's the one holding the one leg, and the second base is, like, getting in there, too. But, yeah, so uh, basically she's holding foot. Yeah. She's, like, <laughs> holding the whole flexing. Thing. She's <laughs> doing her thing, and then I'm holding, like, the back of it. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we have a front spot, but we try to not use those because we try to get it with, like, only three girls holding her instead of four. That it, It's better, and it looks it better, looks and, better, and it, yeah, it's if it's only three people holding amazing. one so girl. So is there ever, like, a... Because you've been on it, like, because you're juniors, so yeah. is there... Is it just part of the... the uh, you know, like football, you know, somebody, it, there's injuries every, uh, every yeah, season. Yeah, a so, lot. Yeah. So in other words, there's, you know, y every practice, you know, you have to bring it. I mean, you have to eat right. You know, you yeah. got to get your sleep. I mean, Jeez, you know, you... Um, no. no, but our coaches talked about us starting to because we definitely, n we don't like, well, sometimes we need it because yeah. we're holding them up. <laughs> but that also is a good workout. And we can, we've been conditioning a lot more lately. Like yeah. our coach is working us a lot for competition and everything because it's a lot harder yeah. stunts and yeah. more, we need more and endurance. Like just like going, like when you're in cheer, you realize how much, um, how much strength you need. So it motivates a lot of girls to just work out on their own. So that's how a lot of our girls um, get their strength is by going to a gym or like just working out on their own time so that by the time we come back to practice, it's... Oh, that's good. I have a quick question for the boys. When you're playing your basketball games, do you notice the cheers that you're getting from the sideline, and do you find it inspiring? I've always wanted to ask. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, um, actually, I didn't see like cheerleaders for basketball team. Oh yeah. Um, yeah at, at Bishop, they don't really have. Oh yeah. They don't, really they don't have, have basketball cheer yet. Professional cheerleaders. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope we do. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have it for basketball yet. I think their start, their um, program is trying to get them to start for basketball because they usually just focus on football. But I hope our guys hear us. I mean, yeah. we're trying to do a lot, but I understand that they're really into the game. So yeah. sometimes they can't really yeah. hear. <laughs> no, I, I've really gone good. to San Marcos basketball games. You guys are really good. I'm just blown Thank away you. at the athleticism. And it just seems like from like even when I was in high school and then even 10 years ago to now, I'm like, dear, I mean, you know, you're doing some. I mean, so you're a gymnast? I... Yeah, I did gymnastics for about 10 right. years. You'd have to be. Um, wouldn't you have to be? If you want to be a flyer, don't you have to be a gymnast? Yeah, you Most have to time. have yeah. some flexibility. Right. Unbelievable. Ronnie's very <laughs> she yeah. is, She's one of our best flyers. Her right. yeah. are, Thanks, guys. They're, yeah, they, they're always up there. Yeah. And they're always doing the best things, too. Yeah. Nice. And ladies. Okay, we've got a lot more, so let's take a quick little break, all right? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Just start talking, you know, Google, like, uh, bun, nothing bun cake, okay? That's what you could do during a break. All right. Let's take a little break. This is Eric Asalda, the Queen of Teen. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every, every single Tuesday, 9 a.m. And ladies, just so you know, we're always looking for teen co-hosts over the summer. Great college resume stuff. If you know of anybody that is interested, it's really kind of cool. We've had three actually past teen co-hosts. They have their own radio shows now. Oh, wow. So oh, it's wow. really nice. And then we do the uh, hours, like for your community <coughs> yeah. service. Oh, so perfect. you're welcome. All right. So, you know, you, you see these fine-looking gentlemen here <laughs> from China. If Is there any question? You you have to have one question. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you, you know, maybe you're interning right now to be an intern. I don't know. So right now I'm going to pass the mic one to Davey and one to Josh. And then go ahead. Lead the rest of the interview. This is the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No. All right, go ahead. Okay. Say your name first. I'm Julia Tosca. I'm a junior at San Marcos. This is Davey and that's Josh. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one question I have for both of you, you can answer when you um, have an idea, but like, how is the social life here different from the social life back home? Excellent question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great right question. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's a tough question. <laughs> it's a tough question. Everybody in the world listens to the show, so be truthful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, there's not a lot different in our social life. We had a lot of friends here. We had a lot of friends in China. We, you know, um, we are trying to fit in, in this society, Re you know, trying really hard to speak English because, you know, it's a different, totally yeah, different situation. Different. We speak Chinese back then, but now we have to, you know, just learn another whole language so it's hard but i think people in china and people in here they are quite same as long as you treat them well and <laughs> yeah you know you gotta get a lot of friends yeah yeah, yeah uh so yeah um in here since i've been here yeah, i think it's um not too hard to make american friends here but um also you need to balance like chinese students and group and uh, american students like you can do like um one side like you care about american friends but you ignore like uh, chinese friends so i think balance is really important and just be open to be nice to others Perfect, yeah Aww. I mean, you guys are doing a really good job with, mm -hmm. like, learning a second language and everything. It's definitely very hard, and you guys are doing pretty well. <laughs> like, we actually have, a, a like, a major, like, we have to study English in China. Like, oh, a, a yeah. English yeah. is actually, like, a course for us. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, ever since we start our junior high, yeah, we yeah. have to learn English. Yeah. Oh, you guys started in junior high? Yeah, learning. You guys are, like, fluent. No, you I mean, <laughs> in, junior in, high? Yeah, wow. in China. That's impressive. Yeah. Okay, um, I was just, so how long have you guys been here? Um, I've been here for, uh, it's my second semester. Okay, so I was just wondering how, um, because I, I hosted an exchange student, and it was, like, really hard for her to, like, leave her friends and family behind and to, like, adapt to, like, going to school here and all that, so I was wondering how you guys, like, deal with that. Do you talk to your friends often at home, or? 
Yes, I think. If you have time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I had a lot of time to talk to my host mom, Maria. Yeah, she's here <laughs> today. <laughs> um, yeah, we have it's. We have a forty-five minutes drive from school to our house. So oh, where's home? Where do you go? So we're living in Ness. Okay, but we drive to Bishop every day. Wow. <laughs> she's a sweet lady, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she dri- she drives me every single day. <laughs> uh, That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, and she wakes up at six fifty. We I leave at seven. The school mm-hmm. starts at seven <laughs> fifty. I never I never got laid, uh, <laughs> except for the traffic. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, yeah, I think wha- I I think I had a lot of time to spend with my host family. We get along very well. Uh, yeah, so um, so in here, it's hard to see my friends in China. So we have some uh, software to contact yeah. them. Yeah. So on my phone, like sometimes I just ask their questions about how, how about their high school life. And uh, it's kind of different, but like we all working hard. Like it's tough to uh, like uh, f- uh, far away from home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I've got a quick question for you. Um, with your mastering of English, do you find when you dream, are you thinking and experiencing your dreams when you sleep in English or in Chinese? Sometimes English, sometimes Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, me sometimes, too. yeah, it's like kind of brainstorming. You have to, you c- you have to transfer it quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, um, so. How did you, what necessarily, like, motivated you guys to come to America? Like, why did you guys come to America? Uh, okay, um, so, um, in China, we, like, education is all depends on textbook. Like, they encourage students to do a lot of programs. Like, um, I do a lot of tests, like, really hard, and uh, they don't, like, look up on, like, <coughs> people's activity outside activity and just just think they're it's like in here it's different like people uh, students also like focus on their sports their um, outside activity so it's the difference so it makes me want to go here to study uh when i was young my dad you should uh all he always motivate me you know to learn another different language he always teach me little vocabulary in english Ever since I was like four, he he used to teach me like hello and th- thank you in English, and I will be back soon in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, It was it was, it was my memory, and then ever since then, I you know I I I was more inspired. I I think learning another language is kind of cool, you know. Sometimes in my hometown. People don't speak another language. They need these types of people. So I have to. Well, I can go. I I can just go out and learn another language and go back and teach them English. Mm-hmm. Like it's like another job for me or something. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. I think on the flip side, I think what we should have you guys do now. You guys get to ask one question to the ladies. I <laughs> Yeah. Maybe talk okay. us some Chinese. We, we could take yeah. a break, so they, because you know, we just hit them with that. So, you know, like get, get, get your put your phones down. Okay, this is like it's very spontaneous. Okay, so let's take a little break. This is Erica Salda. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Sola. Please tune in every single Tuesday, 9 a.m. All right, Andy Gill, if you just joined us. I, hit him, I just hit him with the doozy. Uh, it was awesome. If you just joined us, though, I got to tell the public, I mean, you're late. Okay, you just missed a great show, way late. Now you have to listen to the whole show again. And we're on four times, so we're on. If you missed the, I know, you can catch it tonight at 11. You can catch Sunday at 2. And Monday at 3 a.m. That's my favorite show. Okay, that's awesome. That's it. All right. So, so the, the last ten minutes, we had our San Marcos High School cheerleaders ask some incredible questions mm-hmm. to our Chinese guests, mm-hmm. and now, <laughs> now we're gonna mix it up a little bit. That's so you right. guys, you guys get to ask one question to the ladies. All right. All right. We got jo- you want to go? Uh, Josh, you go first. 
Hello, you are good, right? I'm good. How are you? Uh, Whoa, well, that's I, that's quick. That was that was so, that was exactly what I asked. That was Julia Tosca was, saying that. That means, that means how are you? Hello, Julia Tosca. <laughs> That means how are you? I just completely uh, guessed. Yeah. I, completely uh, I guess you're guessed. exchanging numbers. I don't know. Me <laughs> how? Two. Okay. okay. It's your turn. Legitimate baby. question. Uh, ask, ask a legit question. Uh, okay. Question? About anything about yeah, school anything. Or, or maybe college or high school or sports. Uh, anything. Yeah. Uh, have you guys ever think about learning another different language besides English? Um. Yeah, I'm... 75% Italian so I am really interested in learning Italian I go there every summer so I can get around but um, I want to like actually really become fluent in language so I'm going to start taking more Italian classes from at CC and stuff when school kind of calms down but right now I've, I've been taking Spanish for years and I'm doing pretty well Spanish. in that yeah. but yeah Spanish and Italian for me um, I'm bilingual, so I already speak English and Spanish. Okay, so that's um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, yeah, um, yeah, I've been taking Spanish since junior high, and my parents are from Sri Lanka, so they speak Sinhala over there, and I understand the language, but I don't speak it. Um, so I should probably work on that. But <laughs> it's something to understand it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, my question is, uh, what's your favorite part of America? Uh, um, <laughs> okay, I'm Julia Tosca. My favorite... Oh, Lord. Um, that's a really bad question. <laughs> I, okay, okay. I, I, just, I love the social life and the culture that we have here. I know I have a great, a good, easy time making friends. I have a lot of friends. It's just um, fun to see like how the diversity that we all have like I have a bunch of different friends from all over and all of us just bring different like things to the table kind of like my, my like our interests are so different but then we can all come together for like certain things like all of us very different <laughs> we all come together for cheer and all get along really well and I just like the diversity and the different cultures that America has for but then the same opportunities right. you know does that make sense <laughs> Okay, um, my name is Arandi Da Silva, and uh, same with Julia, I think my favorite part, my favorite and least favorite part is probably high school. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, while it's like, it's really stressful, um, but at the same time, I've met my closest friends through, like, because of the classes that I've taken and the sports that I've joined and all of that. And I just, I love, especially about San Marcos, we're so diverse over there. And the teachers are amazing, so it's just like a really comfortable environment for me. And so I love, I just love high school. My high school experience has been great. And also I really like Disneyland, so. <laughs> <laughs> and Justin Bieber. Um, I'm Yesenia Carmona. And I think the most that I like about, well, here is, um, our environment, I mean, the city we live in, Santa Barbara is such a beautiful city, and we're all so blessed to live here. Um, we're also, it's like a small city, so we all kind of know each other, and it's kind of like, we can, we can again, make friends so easily, and we can just get along with each other. Nice. I'm quite, this is a broad question, but I just want to get your take on this. You know, we we got a lot of global issues going on right right now, and I know I have an exchange student, and um, through her, because um, it's not I don't know as it reported as much as I would think, but Europe pretty much has shut down all of the borders. Okay, so refugees. So, uh, what's your take on that? If if the, if say you could, I mean, you're not old enough yet. Anybody 18 in here yet? No. Okay. So say you could vote, and say the ki just to get your um, understanding of it. So hundreds of thousands of refugees, you know, with kids, families, and kids, and you know, America has so much. We're a very abundant country. Would you be okay with that? Say your name. Mm -hmm. No, don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Arandi, and, and I, I want to pass it over to the boys too. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of um, things to consider when it comes to that issue, and I'm all for like helping people in need, especially like just like families that just need a safe place to stay um but i know that like with that comes like security security issues and things that you really have to take into consideration but in general i just think that the best thing to do is to help those people and to make an effort at least to help and not just like push them away and say oh that's not our problem and we can't 
we can't endanger ourselves because of those problems nice. because it's going to get to us anyways. Good answers, ladies. Um, I definitely agree with Rondi. Um, I'm v- I'm very young and I haven't had that much like experience or even um, I don't know. I what's the word? Dang it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't tipped my tongue, whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't really been, oh, exposed. I haven't really been exposed to <laughs> much of the, like, many of these problems or the different ideas and everything. So I just completely agree with Rondi. Like, there's a lot to, t- to take into consideration, consideration. But in the end, I think, I mean, it's all about, like, helping everyone else and stuff. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Yusenia. So, yeah, I definitely agree with um, Juliana Rondi. It's more of just, we can't just automatically say... You know, like, we can't take you in. Like, we have to take into consideration, like, what they've been through, what we will, we'll, like, basically, like, how, we're hel- how we can help them. Nice. Gentlemen, we got 30 seconds. What do you think? Uh, you mean refugees yes. to here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we need help these people because they are in danger, but also there's some... Um, but we also we need to identify, like some of them are not uh, kind of not so good so we just need to be careful like. keep us safe last last we got 10 seconds have mercy oh put your hands together yeah. for that that was really sweet i like i got goosebumps <laughs> hey santa barbara's the best place in the whole world to live god bless santa barbara see you next week <laughs>